Welcome back to uh, my series on breast surgery. Last time we talked about breast augmentation and today what I'd like to discuss is breast lift. Breast lift is a process that can be performed with or without implants. We discussed implants before or fat injection, grafting, which always lifts the breast up. Both implants and fat grafting will lift the breast up. If people are happy with the size of their breast, then another procedure is actually um, breast uh, lift, or as we call it, mastopexy. And that's a procedure where we actually lift the breast up by removing some of the extra skin that forms as people get a little bit older and things stretch and we bring the breast up to where it used to be. I always tell patients, if you like the way your breasts look in a normal bra in your clothes, then you really don't need to enlarge it. What you need to do is get the breast back up to where it used to be. And there are a number of different procedures that can do this. Some of them are good, some of them are not that great. Uh, the first example here is of this droopy breast where we can perform what's known as a donut mastopexy where we remove a certain part of the, of the breast tissue here, basically not breast tissue, rather skin that is formed around here and then we bring the rest of the skin together around the nipple in what would be a purse string type of procedure. And that works some of the times but unfortunately a lot of times what happens is that the breast tissue and the skin uh, spreads that scar and people wind up with a rather ugly scar that is quite visible around this particular uh, nipple or complex not uh, a procedure that I recommend. What I like instead is what's, what's known as a, a vertical mastopexy, a lift of the breast up uh, and it's performed with an incision that goes around the nipple down in this direction only and what I remove is skin. I take though the lower part of the breast and I cut the breast in this area and push it up so it exists in this part of the breast so that you get some fullness which most people want in the upper pole of the breast and then I take the lateral and medial part of the breast tissue and I bring them together and suture them to the muscle that's underneath so the breast is lifted up and stays up because it is attached um, to, the, to, to its own breast tissue and to the fascia of the muscle underneath and it stays where it's supposed to be, which is a great result. People love it. And, and you also have a scar that only goes in this direction around the nipple and down like so and, and it does not extend in this direction. There are procedures where you can perform the same similar type of surgery but it also extends with a scar that goes from the middle to the lateral part of the breast giving you in the end what looks like an anchor type of scar that goes around the nipple down and like so. Problem with that is not only is you have more scarring but you also have the breast hung by skin. What happens to skin? It stretches. In this particular operation the vertical I bring the breast tissue together and the breast tissue is attached so there is no droop. This results in a nice um, uplifted breast and that people really like. As a matter of fact, I perform this a lot of times in people who have had breast implants in their 20s or 30s and now they're in their 50s and 60s. They don't want that implant anymore but they, but they want a youthful looking uh, breast that is uh, more upwards where it used to be when they were in their 20s. I remove the implant and I perform this particular procedure. They have a smaller breast but it's a youthful breast that they remember that they used to have when they were much younger. So uh, people are very very happy with this vertical mastopexy. And the result obviously this is a drawing but it gives you an idea of what you're looking for. And you do have a scar that goes around the nipple riddle complex and down in this direction which over time, which is something in the neighborhood of six months or more, becomes uh, relatively um, invisible. It's always there but it's not very uh, noticeable whatsoever and everyone's ever had this type of procedure has been has been happy. Obviously you have to be aware of the fact that that's the price of this lift of the of the breast is a scar which is a little bit more visible than a lift performed just with implants. 
But in the end, this is a more permanent procedure. There is no need to worry about uh, implants, and uh, people in general are thrilled to have this, this, this type of procedure available to them. I have a couple of examples uh, to show uh, before and after photos of people who have had breast lift and breast lift after removal of implants as well.